So, hello there everyone, and welcome, it is Niran here, and today it is time for a slightly interesting video. Now, every football club and their nan has been releasing new retro merchandise or ways to just collect your money and squeeze everything out of you. It's not enough that you're going to the games, you're buying match programs, half and half scarves if you're a complete nonce, but you've got to squeeze that retro merchandise money out of you as well, and I'm someone who's bowed down to the pressures, but it got me thinking, what is the other end of the scale. I'm talking about bootleg merchandise, lads. Boot bootleg. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the term bootleg merchandise, it's basically stuff that is made not by the club, by random people who make shirts or scarves or whatever and kind of pass it off as real. There are some truly diabolical examples of knockoff merchandise and today I'm going to be trying to find as many of them as possible and spending as much money as possible on them. I say as much money as possible. We've just had January CPM. This segment of the video is going to be trying to find all the stuff, then I'm gonna order it and we're gonna see what it actually looks like in person in like two weeks or whenever it actually arrives. And it's not a great start. We've got a Chelsea Lampard replica shirt here, which is 99p. The postage is four times as expensive as the actual product and it's a shirt. Look at the back. It doesn't even look like a Premier League kit. You can see the number from the back of the shirt through the front of the shirt. This has definitely not been made in Bangladesh. I might not buy this. Well, I won't buy it because it's for kids and if it's used then that's probably gonna put me in prison somehow. Look at this. What do you mean replica football kit? <laughs> Look at this. It's literally got a tag for H&M Sport in it. <laughs> Whoever's selling this has swindled everybody with that title. Right, all you Wolverhampton Wanderers fans out there, you're gonna have to validate this one for me. Apparently this is a Wolves football shirt. Official replica from 1877. Football kits were not commercially sold in the 19th century. This is outlandish. Look at the camera quality. This was taken in 1877 as well. Oh my god, this is astounding. Look at this. <laughs> Have you even tried? They have made the Adidas logo, but just replaced it with a thinner line in the middle and put Mexico underneath instead of Adidas. This is criminal behavior. We move on now to a very unofficial Real Madrid third kit that's got Cristiano Ronaldo on the back. He's, he's taken a picture of the tag that doesn't have anything on it just to prove that it's not real. I don't understand. You're just incriminating yourself, sir. This is a Real Madrid kit if someone had a stroke halfway through making it. This genuinely looks like it could have been sold on the strip of Magaloo. Even the sponsor is fading. Right, we've got a Barca kit which is looking... No, I was about to say it's looking better. Look at that logo. Just... Why has it got painted double yellow lines down it? You're not allowed to park on this football shirt. It's not even blue and red. It's black and red. This is catastrophic. I don't even think that the text and number is central. This it might actually be the worst so far. Ah, now this, this could be a classic, lads. This really could be a classic. We've got a replica, like, 06 to 08 England international football shirt away, which is a really good kit, actually. This is not only a replica shirt, but it has a man named Tim printed on the back of it. Ah, yes, I distinctly remember Remember Ronaldinho wearing this for Brazil all the time. No, lads, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need you to look at this. Doesn't even look that bad. From the, it's a terrible kit, but the real kit was terrible as well. What is that? What even is that? The sponsor placement has given me an actual disease. This is the most clapped thing I've ever seen. Now uh, it's shocking. This has nothing to do with Barcelona, right? This kit. I dislike them as a club now for allowing this to come into existence. Next up, we've got a port. Portugal kit for Rinaldi number seven, not Ronaldo. Listen, someone tell me what this is a replica of, fam. I don't even believe that's ever been the badge for the Welsh FA. It, it's, ju it's just a red t-shirt. Am I genuinely about to pay £7.95 plus £2.99 on delivery for this shirt? Oh my god, it looks like it says Peel Madrid at the top on the collar. It just gets worse. This is absolutely monstrositable. That's not even a word, but I'm creating it for this. Look at the text. This would only be worse if it was in 
in Comic Sans seeing some of these Barca kits. Depression levels are hitting an all time high. Got a Liverpool one here, which pains me. It's the, the numbering on the back. It's just so annoying. It's so bad. It's good. It's not even got the actual Liverpool badge on it. And then finally, genuinely saving potentially one of the best till last. We have this absolute abomination. Look at it. What is this line going down the middle of the stripes? And then they zoomed in on it because they thought it would make it look better. All right. So I've got a list of all the things that we're going to purchase for this video. It's sitting in my shopping trolley. So I'm going to check out. There are some absolutely diabolical kits in here from a range of different clubs as well so but anyway that's it for this part we're gonna fast forward now to when everything arrives and we're just gonna see how this all looks in person i am scared all right safe all right ready to go whenever you are <laughs> that's <laughs> no. horrendous all right so we are now three weeks later um all the stuff that i ordered I say all of it, most of it has arrived, it's here in a lovely pile. Not gonna lie, I've forgotten a lot of the stuff that I ordered as well. I half of these came from Poland as well, for what it's worth, so big ups to Poles. Well, actually no, not big ups to Poles <laughs> at all, because half of this one's come out already. Oh no, this is the Manchester, oh, this is the Manchester United top. Oh yeah, I was gonna give this to you. I was gonna give this to you. So this is a great start, so Arab's behind the camera, he's a Manchester United fan. Uh, you have got a lovely oh, no. Manchester United kit, 1000%, maybe, probably not in your size. Um, oh, this is terrible. Oh. Um, it's got whoever Wilson is on the back. Genuinely don't know who that is. Do you know who that is? Oh, not an actual clue. What do you think about it? Like ten, out, like out of um, ten? It's, oh no, that's gonna get screenshotted. But if I hold it up like that, that's gonna end up on Twitter. <laughs> I'll put it on the bed. <laughs> I can't. I cannot do that. It oh, looks that's all right. right. Quality wise, it's all right. The collar is a bit. Because uh, I had this kit, right, like, okay, the yeah, legit yeah. kit. It says authentic there. So clearly, it actually is. It's, you know, sort of. Oh my, okay. Look at that. All the logos faded and everything. That isn't even printed on, that's actually a sticker. But never fear, the font on the back is completely legitimate. I what thought that was a Wolves kit when you- Isn't it the same? And I was like, I don't remember, but I don't remember buying a Wolves kit. What's the label saying? Absolutely nothing. They haven't even tried to get Adidas or whatever. Yeah, they've just put the stickers on and half they're coming off as well. The Adidas one. That was a terrible voice crack, by the way. <laughs> Now, okay, I remember this one. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. What is the colour? Oh, <laughs> have you seen this colour? You know, um, the, the lining on your boxes, the stripe thing, it looks like it should be that. That could just go there. That, Jen, that is actually mad. Arab, it's not straight. That's straight up. And you can see the stitching is slightly <laughs> curving now. More. It's actually elastic. I said it was the boxes. It's genuinely elastic. Uh, Barcelona should sue. Barcelona should sue eBay for even allowing this to exist. That is disgraceful. Uh, made by Magic Sport, <laughs> this one. Um, it doesn't, to, it doesn't to even be have a kit fair, supplier. There's be, no kit supplier to, on it. To be fair, oh, that's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> It does look like just one of those generic FIFA Pro Club kits. I don't know, is that praise? Is that really, is that actually praise at all though? Now I've just realised that there's actually quite a lot of things here. Well, you went to the post office about 500 times. I went so. to the post office and I got the same person each time. At the end of it, they were genuinely like, are you actually okay? I'm like genuinely. Not another one? I don't even remember ordering this one at all. What even is this? Right, look at this. Why are there just three stars there? Where's the badge? Their badge isn't even on the shirt. That's the Turkish League badge. They've, got, they've not even even put the logo on the shirt. I don't. I can't remember how much I spent on this video, but I. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> I thought you would have just chucked that on the floor. That's where it deserves yeah. to be. Get out of here. Get. Out. You know this one. This is a Portugal kit, right? On eBay, it was listed as a Cristiano Ronaldo shirt. <laughs> like it's like. Okay, nah, It I was just... like it was it was like pro evolution soccer. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that collar line. Oh my god. Probably needs an iron as well, realistically. I mean, that's the least of its problems. <laughs> Let's be real. Oh, I fully think if you pulled hard enough side to side from that collar, that was going to rip right down the middle. Odds on 10, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Odds on 10. Three, two, one, Seven. six. Oh! oh. I'm tempted to just do it anyway. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Ronaldi, you've let me down here, mate. Oh, Ronaldi. Ronaldi. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, my lord. This is a stonker. <laughs> very, very well made is what that I reckon you could peel that off. You can actually peel the sponsor off. This is absolutely outright. <laughs> 
I dislike the club more now because I've seen that <laughs> in, in real life. This is just coming in a black bag. Foreshadowing, isn't it? That's definitely going to sum up yep. what it actually is. I present to oh, you. No, oh. What is that? I think we've hit an all-time low. That's joining that. Oh, it smells. Wait, oh, I don't know if I don't want to explain. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not pleasant. This is the 4D experience right here. Is it me or is that squashed a bit? Like the the, the sponsor. I'll hold it. It's spread like... it out a bit. Spread it out. <laughs> the fly doesn't match the emerald at all. <laughs> and neither does each individual letter to the other letters. It's faded. <laughs> here we go again. What have we got this time? The actual badge is a sticker again. You can literally see the outline of the see-through part of the sticker. Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for the bottom one. It's come in a chocolate box. Okay, before we start recording this video, I was going to ask, you know, just fancy you ordering a milk tray for yourself? On a level, who sends a shirt on eBay in a, in a chocolate box? Question, would you actually eat chocolate that came? No, I would, from eBay. But it got good reviews on eBay then I would. The <laughs> <laughs> No, that looks like a red top from George from Asda. If this shirt was a packet of crisps, it would be, you know, salt and shake? Yep. But they forgot to put the salt packet in. Yeah. It just... Would just, so just shake. Oh, 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 that is a corker. I can see the name through the fabric. Yes, yeah. You can see the back of the shirt through the front Just of the as shirt. clear. They've actually got the nerve to put Barcelona and the copyright logo on it. That's defamation of character. Do you want it? Um, no, I, I don't. I don't <laughs> I want really... it. I'm good. On the floor. I'm good. Third it's one. It's on the floor. Third one. That's, that's Comic that, Sans is level. That, is, that, is that? Oh, this one pains me. It's a, it's a Liverpool kit. Oh, no. It's not even the correct Liverpool badge. And the, oh, and the, the sizing, sizing of is. It's, it's, it's minimal. It literally looks like a square <laughs> as does. well. It actually is. No, wait, genuine. Do you want to see the number on the back? Oh, go on. <laughs> Torres is off centre as well. <laughs> the, the, the Torres is not in the right place. What? Okay. I mean, uh, out of all of them, it looks all right, you know. That's okay. Manchester Blue have done a great Manchester job. Manchester Blue from Pez have done all right here. Oh God! Oh, you need to see the right. Listen. Look at the fabric on that. Someone's dog's been at that. A C4 has exploded on that shirt. The back has given me a physical disease. <laughs> <laughs> it says Peel Madrid on it. <laughs> Maybe Peel Madrid's no. the next name in FIFA. Peel Madrid, yeah, yeah. Not forget Piemonte yeah. Calcio. We're we gonna finish with a stonker. I feel like we are here. So it looks okay. Just take a little look at the the Adidas badge. Don't remember Adidas being Mexico equipment. Yeah, it, I think they've spelled it wrong. That is actually a crime, isn't it? Surely. I tell you what, if you could buy one of these, Arab, if I could buy, buy, if I could buy, yeah, oh, I don't want to buy any of them. Wait, where was the really small one? I'm gonna try it on. It's gonna look like a school bib on you. <laughs> This is Ronaldi. It's it's a pretty tight fit. It I won't would, lie to you, lads. You look so awkward in that. <laughs> it's unreal. I'm just too hench. Um, yes, look at these. Look at those guns. Look that, at that. that. That's not mm. that. I think it's just hit home, like how much money I've actually spent. <laughs> this is where the slow zoom comes in. It's just a broken man. Arav, thank you for filming. No problem. Check him out in the description. <laughs> As I'm standing here looking at you with that kit on, it does suit you. It does that. The color suits you. <laughs> oh, well, I actually can't get out of it. Oh my god, this is actually gonna be an issue. Well, there, or that, yeah, that. yeah, that, that, that. Ugh. That looks so awkward. Was that sensual? That, that was not. That was, That's turned that was very much. No, no. That's not what you said yesterday. <laughs>